Hi everyone! So this is the look we're going for today. I'm going to start by giving you a list of the materials I use to accomplish this look. The first is the Revlon Black Magic Cream Eyeshadow Palette, available in drugstores. Profusion 98 Color Shimmer Eye Palette. The Revlon Beyond Natural Eye Pencil in brown. Liquid Eyeliner, this one's by e.l.f. A black eye pencil, this one's also by e.l.f. Two brushes, you need a lid brush and a crease brush. Eyelash curlers. L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in carbon black. And I'm starting with the MAC Face and Body Foundation. I use this as a primer for my eyeshadow, but if you have another primer that you're used to using, go right ahead. Urban Decay Primer Potion is a great one. So you apply this to your entire eye area. This will help the color stay. Next, start with your Revlon palette. And using the white color provided, just go ahead and put that all over your eye area as well. The lid, the crease, up to your brow bone. This makes a nice creamy base for the rest of your colors. And don't forget to apply it to the inner corner of your eye as well. Now using the Revlon palette, we're going to take the black color and put it only over our eyelid. I like to use my finger to do this, but if you're more comfortable using a brush, go ahead. Don't go above your crease. It doesn't need to be perfect because this is all going to be covered up by color. Now we take our Profusion palette our lid brush and we're going to start with this orange color. It's a medium orange and it comes out almost a little bit yellow. If you have this exact palette, it's the six row over and the second up. Coat your brush, get rid of the excess. Now we're going to apply this to the inner corner of our eye to about a third way in, maybe even about halfway in. Just pat on your color. Now using the same brush, we go back to our palette and take the bright red color. It's the third from the top left on the Profusion palette. Coat your brush. Now we start to apply this towards the middle of the eye, just slightly overlapping our orange. Pat it on gently and pull the color out towards the end of your eye. You can bring this color right below your crease. Make sure everything is well blended. The color should be separate, but it shouldn't look like lines of color. Wipe off your brush. Now taking our crease brush, we're going to use what I call navy purple, which is the top right corner of the Profusion palette. Go over the end of the red. Don't worry if you cover it up. The red actually just makes the purple look a little bit more vibrant. Drag it right on your crease. Following the line of your eye. Up and over. 
bring it down towards the inner corner of your eye, but don't pull it all the way down over the yellow. Now we go back with our lid brush, pick up more red, and go on top of the purple, right there in the middle. Continue to blend as necessary. The nice thing about using the cream shadow in the beginning is that if you have any mistakes, you can easily wipe it away. Now take your Revlon Beyond Natural eyeliner and apply it to the entire lower eye line. Put it in your water line and also let it get down right under the water lines. Take your liquid eyeliner and starting from the inner crease, line the eye with a very thin line. Liquid eyeliner takes some practice, so don't get frustrated. Then after you've made your line, just go ahead and make a little wing at the very end. Now take your black pencil and line the outer water line to a little bit beyond halfway in. Don't go all the way to the end of your eye because it'll make your eye look smaller if you complete the black line. Now curl your lashes. You should hold it there for about 10 seconds. I like to apply two coats of mascara. And that's the look, guys. Enjoy. See you next time.